the oddball crew has flown in, and I'm pretty sure the reason the oddball crew flew in <laughs> is just because they know that the jet story that Stugatz had so much dream and expectation for ends with their quarterback retiring to run for a failed vice presidential bid. And <laughs> Whoa! With Ty, failed? With Ty, failed. With Ty, Wait a second. With Tyrod. Let the people decide, man. With, with Tyrod Taylor as his starting quarterback. I'm pretty sure that's why Charlotte and Amin flew in today. Yeah, we just wanted to be here for moral support yeah. for Stu. Thank you. Anytime. Yep. The Jets should get a compensatory second-round pick for this, right? I mean... They should get something. Right. They should get. Is it a second round pick or from just, who? Congress? Just, just, I don't know. Just, 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 Anybody? No, the league. Look, the, the Packers league, have my second round pick. The, the league should just because they're like, you know what, Aaron? Thank you. We had all that problem with Colin Kaepernick and the flag. Now we've got an active player sort of on the other side of all of this, possibly as a vice presidential candidate. Well, he'd be independent, so he'd be right down the middle, Dan. Right. You don't know where Aaron Rodgers' politics are, Stop I think to it's fair him. to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think Aaron Rodgers, it's not so much that Aaron Rodgers believes in stuff, it's that he doesn't believe in stuff. His whole platform is like, here are the things that I don't believe in. And RFK Jr. is like, ha ha, my man. Welcome. Skeptical. Didn't he just do this whole thing with Jimmy Kimmel, though, and Jeffrey Epstein? And didn't RFK say he flew on Jeffrey Epstein's plane Well, let's, let's get that sound uh, real quick here, because I do want to think for a moment about what that cabinet looks like. Because you know, you know Randall Cobb's on it. And so is Bakhtiari. Yes, I mean. uh, yes. Lazard, Lazard is on it. We might have who else? What, which one of the Packard tight ends Nathaniel is going to be Hackett on it? Jordy is Nelson, chief of staff for sure. Uh, here, this was this was unusual. The last time I heard from Robert Kennedy, I do not know what the context for this could possibly have been, but they asked him evidently about. Uh, about being friends with Epstein, and he's like, I'll do you one better than that. I was always entertaining rapists. So, and I you run into everybody in New York. I mean, I knew Harvey Weinstein. I knew Roger Ailes. I knew O.J. Simpson came to my house. On yeah. the, Bill Cosby came to my house. An odd flex. It's funny. <laughs> and not in any way. Shout out to Andrew Schultz. That's a good get right there. RFK? Wow. Yeah. Is it? RFK Jr.? Isn't we, it? Have we had him? Well, Pablo uh, declined him. He Did was offered him and declined him. Really? I don't think it's hard to get a guy running for president on your show. I feel like it's the opposite. They're trying to be everywhere. We've never had a presidential candidate on our show. We had a president, but he wasn't. we didn't know he was going to be a candidate at the time. Charlotte, uh, are you're, you're staring open mouth at a mean. Do you want to do that oddball with RFK? Is that something you want to do? The disgraced Abs Kennedy brother? Absolutely not. I'm just like still shocked by that clip. Yeah. He's literally like, oh, yeah, you want to hear some bad guys? I'll tell you about some bad guys. Oh, you guys. hadn't seen that? No. You, had, you had not heard? That's the last time I heard from him. It was last week. It was going everywhere because it's like it's fairly amazing judgment to go that route on that question. Now, I don't want to recklessly speculate here, but does that mean? Recklessly speculate? Yeah, exactly. It's a tough one. Yeah. Does that mean that RFK Jr. is a Celtics fan? Given where the Kennedys are from, sure. oh. okay. Well, let's not. So let's not add up sure now. This is that's neither here nor there. I mean, why so. are you whispering as if you think that's the better way to do this? <laughs> that's the worst thing about him to a mean. Like me, we, we have to accuse him of this in silence. I'm whispering. He's Seems, like, this it's, might. It's be... called sotto voce. You should learn it sometimes. You got to mix it up. Sometimes you're loud and sometimes you're soft. Hmm. Amin gets the point across. Amin was worried that that was character defamation. He was going to get sued, so he had to say it quietly. Yeah. Thank you for teaching me how to do this. I mean, I appreciate it. You're welcome. The other story today that everyone is talking about. There's another story? There is another story uh, than the idea that we might have an active NFL player running for vice president. Why do they do this? Like, someone, I think, asked Steph if he wants to go into politics. He's like, oh, you, know, you never know. And, like, The Rock keeps working. Like, why do celebrities think they want to be president of the United States? It seems like such a hassle. I know, but one was. Exactly. I mean. That's why. Yeah, but like, how's that working out? Well, pretty good. It's about to get reelected. I mean. <laughs> it goes $400 million. Not in jail. You know what I want to do if I have $500 million? Not owe $400 million. <laughs> or just never be seen again. Or heard from. Exactly right. Like, like, do they just need, like, the ego needs, they need everyone thinking about them and talking about them constantly, that they need to be in politics? Why? Also, something, sorry, Dan, I know you're trying to move on from Aaron Rodgers, but I have one more thing. 
that say this went well for RFK and Aaron Rodgers. What if the Jets also have a deep playoff run? Right. And the game conflicts with the inauguration. What does Rodgers do? Mm-hmm. What do you think he does? Luckily, they don't have to worry about that because mm-hmm. they're still the from Jets. your lips. <laughs> a deep playoff run? Well, either really. <laughs> I have him taking the oath right there at the fifty-yard line. What's more likely, though, Jets AFC Championship game conflict with the inauguration or RFK Jr. elected? If uh, if sports RFK are, Jr. If sports are indeed a mirror for society, I do believe that the open to the Jets season would sort of mirror what that presidential campaign would do, where they have the flag, they wave it at the beginning, and then four <laughs> plays later, everything <laughs> everything is just total. <laughs> We wave the flag for those few moments, and what we win, we're against vaccines. That's our platform. <laughs> they also, if the, if this happens, they did register KennedyRogers.com. And wow. if, if this happens, guarantee you the picture of Aaron Rodgers carrying the flag out onto the yeah. field oh. is the yeah. header of yeah. the website. No. <laughs> it, I mean, it's a great picture. We can't, I mean, that is the, the one thing happened. he did. That the is highlight the one of my thing season. We, we yeah. can't dispute that. That is the highest the Jets have ever <laughs> yes. been. It was a great 15 seconds. Not since I mean. Namath. Not since Joe Namath in 1969 <laughs> had the guy. Jets felt as good as they did the moment Aaron Rodgers in a stadium filled with oh. flashing lights brought hope expectations to the Jets for four plays. <laughs> Sorry, Stu. I hate them.